Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn something very useful and that is how to run your SOAP UI tests from Jenkins. We are going to see how to get Jenkins, how to add SOAP UI commands in Jenkins and then finally how do we run our SOAP UI tests from Jenkins. So for that let me start my SOAP UI and SOAP UI is up and running. Let me just close this starter page and here we have our project that we have been using and working on so i will just take this rest project expand this it has these test suites let me expand this as well and here we have these test cases and in the earlier session we have been working on this assertion test case where we have two requests one is a soap request other one is a get request and then we have also added some assertions here okay we have added assertions in the soap request as well as in the get request so for now to run from jenkins what we need is we need a command and to get the command we can do a right click on a test case and here we can go to launch test runner now we have already seen in our earlier sessions that we can run from command line and we can run at levels of project or a test suite or a test case we cannot run the test step level we cannot run commands from test step level so here for this example i will be running a test case so i am taking this assertions test case to a right click click on launch test runner and here in case you have different properties or arguments you can give it but for now i just want to run it so i will click launch and it will actually start the execution and i have cancelled it because i do not want to run it for now i just want the commands so with test runner you can actually get the commands that you can use for command line run so the very first command is you have to go to the location where your soap ui bin folder is so i will just copy this and go to my notes and paste it here and also let me write down the step step one is open soap ui and go to the test case now this can be a test suite as well as a project so whatever level you want to run your test on and then step two is right click and select launch test runner run from test runner and copy the commands so i have copied this command so i will say cd to this location of soap ui bin and the next one will be the test runner command and this is the test runner command and test runner dot bat is used for running from console so i will copy this again and go to my notes and here is my command to run our test case which is assertion so minus s the test suite name which is test suite 1 this one and then minus c the test case name which is assertions and then the location of the project which is this one so this is my command and i can test it i will just go to my command line and let me just increase the font so i will go to properties and i will go to font and let me make a bigger font okay this is better so i will just paste it here first i have to go to this location cd and i will press enter and you can see it has come to this location and then i will run this command here so it will give some warnings which we are ignoring for now the major part is i want to see the test case is getting executed and yes you can see this is executing our requests in here so i will just minimize it for now and let us go to step number four which is get jenkins on your system so let me go to a browser and let me go to jenkins i am just searching for jenkins and the very first option i am getting is jenkins.io you can click here and go to download 
so here you can see we have Jenkins and you can get Jenkins for all these operating system you can get for Mac OS Windows and all these other flavors and then you also have this generic Java package which is Jenkins.war and this is what I'm going to download so I'll click here and it will download my Jenkins so this is downloading Jenkins.war file and I will just pause and start the video again once this download is completed so here download is completed let me go to the folder where this file is downloaded and you can see here we have our Jenkins.war file so now to start Jenkins you can go to your command line and go to the location where your Jenkins.war file is in my case it is in C users Raghav Pal downloads one of the shortcuts is if you say CMD on the address bar and click OK the command prompt will start on the same location so you can see the command line has started and it is started in the downloads and then you can once you are in that folder where your Jenkins file is you can say Java hyphen jar and Jenkins dot war now if you press enter now it will start your Jenkins server on the default port which is 8080 however you can say minus 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 HTTP port equals any other server so if I want to start on let's say 9090 I can start it here or let me say 9292 and hit enter so this will start our Jenkins server on port 9292 it will take few seconds to a minute to start the Jenkins server and once you get this message Jenkins is fully up and running then you can just go to your browser and say localhost or you can also give the IP of your system and say the port number in our case it is 9292 and hit enter and you can see the Jenkins is up now here for me because I already had a Jenkins earlier and it is taking the Jenkins home directory from there and therefore you can see all the projects however in your case you might either get a login screen or you might get something like this getting started where it will ask you to add the required plugins or the suggested plugins so you can just go with this uh, add the suggested plugins in case it asks you to create a user you can do that and finally come to this screen where you have this option for creating a new item so basically you we just want to come here where we can create a new item and click on new item here and then here you can give any name so I'm saying soap UI test execution and click on freestyle and just say ok so let me also write this down step 5 will be run Jenkins by the command java hyphen jar Jenkins dot war and in case of some port other than default port you can say minus minus HTTP port equals to whatever port number you want to run and then step 6 is create a new job and add details so that is what we are going to do now we have created a new job and now we have to come to this build section and you can also scroll down and come to this build step and in case you are on Mac or Linux you will say execute shell I am on Windows so I will say execute Windows batch command and here you have to give the command that we have stored for running our SOAP UI test so I will just copy this from here and store this here and I will also just say C colon so I can be sure that in case the command line is on any other location it will first come to C drive and then go to the bin folder of SOAP UI and then run our command test runner command here okay so this is the same command that I executed on the command line and I will just say apply and save and this is our project and here you have an option to build now just click on this build now button it is saying build is scheduled and you can see this is running if you click on this bar it will take you to the logs and you can see the logs also 
you can click on this built number and then say console output and it will show you the logs and here there are some warnings which is fine for now and then you can see this actually failed and although it executed the request which is a good thing however i believe you can see this is one accession failed so it is saying response sla country currency failed because it took 506 milliseconds and we had a assertion put for 400 milliseconds so let me go to my soap ui and go to this country currency request and go to assertions and let me go to the sla assertion this is here and here instead of 400 let me give a higher value let me say uh, 1000 milliseconds and say ok and let me go back to our Jenkins and go back to the project and now I will say build again I will click on build now and this time ideally this should pass so let us wait and in case it passes this will turn into blue however this again failed let me go to the console output and I believe we have not saved it so let me just go to soap UI do a save all and now come back to our Jenkins and let us try one more time and I will say build now I can also open the logs in a new window it is running plugins are loaded you can see this is running the test case here all our requests are getting executed and again we have got some failure let us see what is the failure this time oh so you can see again in uh, this particular time our actual request took even more so there may be some server or network issue let me go and make it to a very high number so that we at least get one success I am making it 5000 and actually we have also added a script assertion in our earlier session and here also I will make it as 5000 I will say ok and save all go back to my Jenkins and I hope there is no other assertion failure I hope not and let me just go back to the project and say build now again so this should uh, turn into blue everything is red so that means a failure and let us hope this will run fine now and yes you can see this is successful this time and you can also go to the logs console output and you can go down and you can see all the session have passed this time okay this is for the first request which was a soap request these assertions are for the second request and everything is pass so we have executed and ran our soap ui test from jenkins and with jenkins there are so many other advantages that you can get you can integrate with git you can schedule your test cases so for example let me go to configure again and here you have source code management and you can integrate with git and subversion you have built trigger so in case you want to build your scripts remotely or you want to build it periodically here you can give a crone expression and you can schedule your builds and here are some examples that you can use to schedule your runs and then you can also poll SEM so for example you can uh, poll some repository and whenever there is a change you can have your Jenkins job executed and these are some build environments this is the actual command and then there are post build actions as well so in post build actions you can do various things for example you can run some particular job after this job is executed you can also have uh, notifications or email sent out and all those things and in case you go to your Jenkins home page and go to manage Jenkins from here and go to manage plugins so here there is a plugin for soap ui which is called soap ui pro functional testing plugin and 
I am finding this in the install tab because I already have it. You will find it in the available tab. You can go to available and then filter for SOAP UI from here. In my case, it is available in the install tab. And this plugin is actually used by the pro version and ready API, which is the latest version of SOAP UI. But for us, if we are using the free version, this is enough that we are able to, you know, add our jobs and run from Jenkins. Let me also write down the steps. Step number seven will be run the job and validate results. So these are the seven steps that you can use to run your SOAP UI tests from Jenkins. And I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you for watching.